Today's scripture passage comes from Matthew's gospel, the 19th chapter. And Christ is speaking to the apostles and he tells them something that is completely against their understanding, their, their understanding as in terms of culture, in terms of religion, in terms of their theology. And what it is, is that it is almost impossible for a rich person to get to heaven that it would be far easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of God. And for human beings, that's impossible, but all things are possible with God. So Peter, good old Peter, says to Christ, well then, you know, who is going to go? I mean, we've given up absolutely everything to follow you. And Christ responds, yeah, you, you have. In order to get to heaven, you have to give up everything. Homes and wives and children and husbands and mothers and fathers. It's a very difficult thing for us to, to accept how much we have to give up in order to follow God. But you, you understand this. What we give up is far less than what we receive. You've heard me say previously that that when we receive God in our lives there's this this unstoppable continuous eternal profound fountain of love that enters our lives and once that has entered your life it supersedes absolutely everything and it is not so much I would say to give things up as much as we take God and put it in front. And through that prism of God's vision and God's love, all things, everything, all things come not as important as that love of God because that love of God helps us to love all the else that is and love it in a way that is kind and generous and sharing and forgiving and gentle and wise. So the reason it is so difficult for a rich person to get into heaven is because they self-identify as being rich. And that becomes their God. <laughs> Tell you a little story. Years ago, well, not that many, maybe 12, 15 years ago, I owned a 1951 Mercury Woody station wagon. Three on the tree, they used to say. That's a, a manual uh, transmission. And I loved that car. I mean, I loved that car. That car, I would take care of it and, and get anything it needed. Then there came the time when I, I saw, you know, with kids in college and grandchildren and all that, that I needed to sell it. And I did. Because... What I had to sell it for was not as important as why I needed to sell it in order to help. And I loved what I was helping and who I was helping more than I loved that car. I loved my children more than I loved money. I love this, this marriage more than I love money. I love God more than I love everything because it is through that love I am able to love. I am rich by the world's standards. We know when we're going to eat. We have food in the refrigerator. We have a roof over our heads. We are safe. But I love God more than all of that. And I'm willing to give all that we have in order to love God. I'm not telling you to give away everything. But I am asking every single one of us to love God more than everything. And with that, we can wake up this morning and like I say to my friend Kate, Lord, what are we going to do today? 